A disturbance over coronavirus testing at an ICE detention center ended when SWAT teams broke up the melee. Ten people detained on immigration charges at the North Dartmouth facility who didn't want to be tested for the virus at the House of Corrections allegedly rushed the guards, barricaded themselves in that facility, and then trashed the place. WBZ's Tiffany Chan has more. The Bristol County Sheriff says those inmates were put in isolation. They're also facing charges tonight after being involved in that brawl after they were asked to be tested for the coronavirus. The sheriff gave us a look at the damage inside. The B wing of the ICE detention center in North Dartmouth completely trashed. Water fountains and washing machines ripped from the walls and shattered glass littered the ground. Sheriff Thomas Hodgson says about 10 inmates reported feeling COVID 19 symptoms and became combative when it came time for testing Friday evening. We had to call in our special operations team. We had to call in the K 9 unit. They obviously had done everything they could to blockade the doors. Three inmates were taken to the hospital, all expected to be fine. One lawyer says he was on the phone with a client when the brawl broke out. My client suddenly cried out in pain, it seemed like, um, and uh, saying, don't hit me or don't hurt me, uh, something along those lines. Um, the phone was then apparently dropped. Another says some inmates refused to go to the medical unit out of fear for their health. They were very fearful of being exposed to um, an entirely different inmate population to be being sent to where all other sick patients. The lawyers joined Congressman Joe Kennedy calling for an independent investigation as to what sparked the violence. Sheriff Hodgson defended his actions Saturday saying he is reviewing the evidence too. We have a camera until they threw coffee on it. Uh, we don't, they're, they're reviewing those, those clips to see what they can pick up. Those 10 inmates facing malicious destruction and assault and battery charges, but the sheriff says more could follow once he fully reviews the evidence. From North Dartmouth, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.